Are you looking for quick, easy, and budget-friendly ideas to help celebrate Valentine's Day? Well, you have come to the right place. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon, and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Today I have 25 awesome Valentine's Day ideas for not just home decor, but also for gift ideas and Valentine's Day fun. I also want to thank Native for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the Valentine's Day DIYs right now. We're going to be shopping at Dollar Tree for supplies today to keep this budget friendly. However, I know a lot of you say you have a hard time finding these supplies, so I will have some alternatives and some other suggestions as well. So keep that in mind as we go throughout this video. First up, we're going to grab some of these wood heart plaques, which I was excited to find at Dollar Tree because I usually buy them at the craft store for about $2 a piece. So they're cheaper if you can find these at Dollar Tree, but hit the craft store if you can't find them there. We're going to hit it, hit them down with a little bit of sandpaper to smooth out any of the rough edges and then paint them with some lighter tone brown paint. Let those dry. Just one coat will do it. And we are going to start making some faux cookies. Yep. These are going to look so good, good enough to eat, but you don't want to do that because the icing we're going to use is spackling. Yep, it sure is. You can find this at Dollar Tree in the hardware section. You just take a popsicle stick. You want to grab quite a bit out to start with and start kind of smushing it down onto the top of the wood and kind of smoothing it out. Now, I will say if you add a little bit of water to this, it'll add it a little bit more of a sticky texture to it. and It'll kind of stick to the wood a little bit better, which is what I did here. And then just kind of smooth it out on the top, giving it some texture too. not too smooth. We want this to look like icing. Now we're going to embellish our cookies and we're going to use some faux sprinkles to do that. Did you know that there are such a thing as faux sprinkles? There sure are. You can find them on Amazon. I will link these down in the description box below. They are so, so cute. I have a couple different versions. You'll see those up next, but we're just kind of poking them down into the spackling before it dries and it'll hold it in there for us. You can also color your spackling. So I have a light pink paint here. You do want to be very, cautious about how much paint you add in there too. You don't want it too runny. So once it gets to about this consistency and the color that you want it, do the same thing. Repeat the process. You're going to scoop a lot of that out on top of your wood plaque and then smooth it on, smear it on just like regular icing. And before again, it dries, you're going to embellish it with those sprinkles. And these sprinkles are so cute too. They have little love note sprinkles in there. I love the pop of blue. That's what I've been doing with my Valentine's Day decor this year. I've added some blue in there. I'm loving it. It's a little bit more of a happy feel, but you can always use whatever colors you want and whatever embellishments you want that matches your decor and your style. We're going to tone this even darker one more time, adding some more darker magenta paint here. And then again, same process, smearing this on just like you would regular icing. And I added some more of those kissy lip sprinkles on top of these. This makes for such a cute decor piece for a coffee bar, a treat bar in your kitchen. They literally look like real cookies, don't they? And they're so fun, so cute. This would even be fun to do with kiddos. Now I want to take a minute to thank Native for sponsoring today's video. Native deodorant was one of my very first items that I started using, like I said, several years ago. And when Native reached out to sponsor this video, I absolutely said yes, because this is a brand and an item that I've used for years personally and absolutely love. So why is this a product that I still love and use every single day? Well, the main reason is because it goes on, it feels dry, it's not sticky to the touch at all. It also has simple and effective ingredients that you'll know like coconut oil and shea butter. It's also aluminum free, paraffin free, vegan and cruelty free. Now I like to switch out my scents for the different seasons. I love the coconut and vanilla for summer and springtime, but there's so many other amazing, great scents that you can choose from too. They're just now launching their brand new candy shop collection this month. And you can find some awesome scents like gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, sour berry belts, and even strawberry and vanilla taffy. Native also offers a plastic free version of their deodorant using the same formula, but it's more sustainable packaging. So they also carry other products like body washes and lotions. I've been using their body washes for a long time too, and I'm excited to finally try their lotions. 
The redeodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code DIYer, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash and lotion. I love Native. I'll probably be using my own coupon code to order some more deodorants, and I will make sure to have more information linked down in the description box below. Thank you again to Native for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now on to more Valentine's Day ideas. I'm pretty sure I jumped up and down when I found these wood bead wreaths at Dollar Tree, but if you can't find them there, hit the craft store or I'll link some down in the description box below. Definitely cheapest at Dollar Tree though. We're gonna turn this one into a heart. At the connection point, we're going to make that into a point and then going straight up from there, we're gonna bend the top down into a point and kind of round out the edges on each side to make that heart shape so quick and easy. Just kind of do some little adjustments here and there so it lays flat. At this point, you can embellish this wreath however you want. I decided I wanna lay mine on a countertop or a shelf. So I turned mine to the side and we're gonna take some ribbon and create a simple bow tie bow here. Just kind of making loops and then tying it in the center. The trick with these bows is you really want to adjust your ribbon before you pull those loops tight. So that's what I'm doing here, making sure my ribbon is laying flat, my loops are even on both sides. And then whenever I have it, where I want it, that's when I actually tighten that center of the bow so it stays how I want it. You can tie this on, you can wire it on, or I just used a little dot of hot glue onto one of those wood beads and stuck it down in place. As I said, I kept mine super duper simple, but I think this would be so pretty if you add a little bit of greenery, added some pink flowers in there. You could hang this on your door. I just set mine on my console table there. Just a really cute and simple little addition to your Valentine's Day decor. Candles are an absolute must at Valentine's Day. It just sets the mood, makes it romantic, and you can find these packs of 20 tea lights for only $1.25 a Dollar Tree. And they're pretty simple and basic, right? Well, we're gonna dress ours up using some washi tape. I'm pretty obsessed with washi tape. Obviously I have a lot and I use it any chance I get and these tea lights are the perfect example. So I didn't have any actual specific Valentine's Day washi tape. So I found some in the colors that I'm using for Valentine's Day. I'm loving, like I said, these little pops of blue with the pinks and reds for the holiday. You just wrap it right around the metal part of your tea light, take some detail scissors and trim off any excess if it's a little bit too wide for the tea light and you just keep going. Add whatever you want onto there. I even found some glitter washi tape, so pretty. And sometimes you can find some seasonal washi tape at Dollar Tree too, so definitely keep your eyes out for that. I love that you can put these about anywhere. Put them on a mantle, on a end table, coffee table. You can layer it on a centerpiece, add some taper candles in there too. really set the mood. Such a quick and easy thing to do, but just this little extra special touch is what really gives it some style. Dollar Tree carries some great felt, but again, if you can't find this at Dollar Tree, hit Walmart, hit the craft stores. You can find it for about a quarter per sheet, very affordable. And this DIY is so simple and it's so cute too. So this is a white piece from Dollar Tree. We folded that corner up so it lines up with the side there to make a triangle. We're gonna cut that down and remove the excess, open it back up, and basically we've created a exact size uh, square. I'm going to be using some fabric glue sticks to put this together, but if you want, you can always sew this too. We're going to make an envelope by pulling the two side corners together and then gluing the edges down and pulling that bottom point up. That basically made our little envelope for us. We're going to add a little piece of ribbon, a loop on the inside of this envelope so we can hang it. And then we're just going to fold the top down. You don't want to glue the top as you can then use it to put goodies inside or notes 
pants inside. We're gonna embellish this with a little bit of red felt here, just using scissors to cut out a heart shape, and we're gonna glue that right onto the front of this envelope. Now this is a really great project because you can really personalize this, you can change it colors, you can add glitter, you can add whatever you want. I'm gonna be adding some puffy paint, just some little dashes around the top of the envelope fold there. And once that dries, you can even flip this over and write to and from on the other side, which would be really sweet and personalized. But then you can hang these from a door handle, maybe your kiddo's bedroom. You could hang it off of a kitchen chair. You could hang it on someone's car window, maybe, or something like that if you want to surprise them. I just like that little loop on there that makes it functional. And then just add your little goodies to the inside. Here's another quick and easy idea using felt and also some LED pillar candles. You can find these at Dollar Tree. However, they're not the best quality. Sometimes they don't like to light up, so make sure you test them in the store before you purchase them. We're gonna use some of this pink felt and we're gonna cut it into two same sized rectangles, fold those in half and cut out a heart. Now, of course, depending on how many pillar candles you have, you may need to do this more times than that. So we're gonna cut out one heart and then we're gonna use that heart as a template. So that way we can have two of the exact same size hearts that will fit on the fronts of our candles. Then we're gonna take some twine. This is white and gold, really, really pretty. And we're going to lay those felt hearts on the fronts of the candles and then wind our twine around several times, tie a knot in the back. And this is such a great idea because it is now removable. So after Valentine's Day, it's really easy to cut this off and use it for another season or holiday. You can take the same idea and cut out felt leaves for fall, some Christmas trees, for Christmas time and maybe even some Easter eggs for Easter. So just a really simple idea and I love that it's interchangeable. I found this giant styrofoam heart at Dollar Tree and I just had to have it and do something with it. So I also picked up some of these pom-poms. These were actually from Dollar General. They were cheaper there than they were at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed those. Always save yourself money any chance you get. Dollar Tree isn't always necessarily the cheapest place to buy things. And we're just gonna hot glue those pom-poms onto our styrofoam heart working from the center out in a random pattern. Now, if you can't find the styrofoam heart, you can always use a wood heart and do it on that. You could take a piece of cardboard and cut it into a heart shape and glue them onto there. I only did the front of my heart because I'm going to be hanging this on a uh, flat surface. You're not going to see the back anyway. Now let's make this heart hangable. We're going to punch a little hole in the top of the heart and we're gonna take some ribbon, create a loop, make a knot at the bottom of the ribbon, add a little bit of hot glue into that hole in the styrofoam and push that knot down in there, let that dry, and we have an instant hanger for our heart. This is super cute just to hang right by itself on the wall or hang on a mirror in the mid middle of a picture frame, kind of like you're seeing here, or even hung in the center of a wreath, just to, adds a really pretty pop of color. These Valentine's Day rings may not have been at the top of your list to grab for home decor, but I have a cute idea for these. The cool thing is, is they are sitting on styrofoam, which makes it really easy to then grab out some spray paint and hit them with a new color. So a little bit gaudy is probably the right word, but they're super fun for kids and as party favors or, you know, if you wanna bedazzle yourself for Valentine's Day. But we're gonna spice these up a little bit and make them a little bit more decorative with some gold leaf spray paint. I did do two coats and then let those dry. Then we can pop those out of the styrofoam and we're going to use some pliers to pop the backs of the rings off. So now I have a few different ideas of what you can do with these once you get those backs off there. The first one is grab some thumbtacks from Dollar Tree. You get a ton in a pack and of course still a dollar twenty-five. You're also gonna wanna grab some super glue. I love the gel kind that Dollar Tree carries. We're gonna add a little bit of that on the backs of these thumbtacks and then glue those right to the backs of those rings. Yep, and sure enough, these make really cute and decorative thumbtacks that you can use in your office 
or your craft room, just kind of dressed them up a little bit more and made them more for year round use, really cute and easy. Another idea I had was to grab out some clothes pins and instead of using some acrylic paint, which gets to be a little bit messy and also takes a little bit longer to dry, I'm using a chalk marker to paint the front of this. And then you'll just take some hot glue, put a little dot on the front and add your heart on top of this. And then you can use these for embellishments for different things, but it looks super cute on a simple lunch sack that you can embellish with some ribbon for a gift bag. Then remember these candles that we created earlier? Yep, they make great embellishments for things like this as well. Just add a little bit of hot glue onto the front and pop on your bronze heart right onto the front there for a little bit of extra embellishment. These would be great in so many different areas of your home. This next one, we're gonna make a flower vase and I found these great bottles at Dollar Tree, but if you can't find those, grab a mason jar or a regular vase, that will work for this project too. And you'll also wanna grab some of this permanent vinyl that's also a Dollar Tree, but no worries, you do not need a vinyl cutter to make this project because we're gonna make a basic heart shape out of the vinyl just using some scissors. So we're gonna cut this down to make sure it is going to fit on the front of our vase. And then you'll peel the paper backing off and and apply it onto the front of your glass. Make sure all the edges are pushed down really well. If you do purchase this bottle, you'll wanna take off the top, the plastic and the metal. It just pops right off of there. We're gonna take this outside and spray paint it. I'm gonna be using some red spray paint for this. Anytime I get a 50 degree or warmer day in January, outside I go to spray paint. I would much rather spray paint than use acrylic or chalk paint. I don't know about you guys, it's just so much faster. So it was loving this sunny, warm day. Once it dried and put two coats of paint on there, then you can go ahead and remove the vinyl from your container and you have a little heart. Add your flowers in there, whether it is faux flowers or real flowers for a beautiful Valentine's Day decor piece that you can use in your living room or wherever you need that little pop of Valentine's Day color. There are so many things you can do with these heart doilies. So many so I even made a whole video dedicated to ideas, which I'll link down below. So if you want more Valentine's Day ideas, definitely check out that video next. This one, we're gonna make a cute little gift idea. We're gonna fold the heart in half, make two little slits. And then you wanna grab something like this colored pencil that I'm using here and also some paper. So it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day paper. It could be regular cardstock. It could be a construction paper. It could be felt. Whatever you have on hand, use that instead of purchasing new. So we're gonna cut a heart and then a rectangle and we're gonna cut V shapes onto the rectangle at the top and the bottom to create a feather. You're also gonna cut some angled slits on both sides to create those feathered effects. And then we're gonna use some of these glue dots that you can also find at Dollar Tree. I love these because it will make your paper be able to come off and on of the pencil or if you use a pen or something like that and it'll make it still usable without, you know, putting too much adhesive on there and then making it unusable. Other ideas for this is you could use glow sticks, you could use a straw. So get creative with this. It makes for a really quick and easy gift idea. Now we're gonna use a red heart doily for this project and you'll also need an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We're gonna take the bottom corner and we're actually gonna just roll this up. So we're gonna make a cone shape, just rolling it so you have a wide end and then a point at the bottom. Use some tape on the back there so you hold your cone shape in place. Next, we're gonna use that paper doily to embellish this and make this look very Valentine's Day and lovey-dovey. So we're gonna roll that around the front to the back side of our cone. Again, just using some regular scotch tape on the back to keep that doily in place. 
pretty cute, right? So you could add some flowers in there if you want. Or Dollar Tree is now carrying these awesome disposable icing bags, which just happen to be the perfect size to fold and slide right down into our cone. So you're gonna find your recipient's favorite candy or goodie, or maybe you wanna put money in there. I don't know, whatever you wanna put in there to give as a gift. And we're just going to use some ribbon to tie the top off. A little bow helps make it a little bit more decorative. And as you can see, it just slides right down into the cone. This is so incredibly inexpensive, but such a thoughtful gift and also really pretty too. So these are all brand new ideas, but I do want to throw in some oldies but goodies. So if you're new here or if you watched these previously and forgot all about them, I wanted to throw in some of my absolute favorite Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs into the second half of this video to maybe refresh your memory or give you a new idea if you've never heard of them before. So this is a tray that you can get at Dollar Tree and it is so cute to create a memory and a keepsake and a gift idea. So our whole family just stuck our little thumbs into some red acrylic paint and took turns creating little thumbprint hearts on this tray. And yeah, it was just super fun. It was a really quick and easy DIY that we did as a family together. Here's my thumbprint. My girls are in the middle. And then this one is my son who has grown so much since last year. He needed a little bit of help, which is a fun thing to do with little ones too. He embellished his a little bit more and made it look kind of like a bear, but <laughs> that's okay. That's part of the memories. And then of course my husband. And then to make sure we remembered this project, then I also used a Sharpie marker. You use a paint pen and just write the year on the bottom. You could write your family's name. You could use a vinyl here. It's totally up to you. And it just was a really nice keepsake that we can put out year after year and even kind of maybe um, like a handprint, see how much our fingers have grown <laughs> year after year too. I love this idea. I grabbed one of these heart-shaped metal frames from Dollar Tree. Now I did use my vinyl machine for this. My son wrote me this sweet I love you letter and put it on my desk one day. So I put it in my Cricut machine and cut it out with vinyl and then attached that onto the picture frame as a sweet little gift and keepsake that I was able to give to him. But if you don't have a vinyl machine, just have your little one use a paint pen and write I love you on there or a message on, the, on there or whatever you want off to the side. Let them draw a picture. And it is just a really cute and sweet little keepsake. So since this was a gift to my son, I found a picture of us from earlier that year when we went to the zoo and rode the train. He loves to ride the train and cut that out and inserted it into the little spot in there. And so now he has a great memory and also this sweet little note that he wrote to me that I'm also sending back to him. Dollar Tree has also lots of great items that you can create into gift baskets. I love gift baskets for all the seasons and holidays and celebrations. They even have these big red mixing bowls. So I cut a vinyl decal out that said love and put that on the front here, but you could use a white paint pen or chalk marker and write that on there or not do it at all. You could just completely leave it plain if you wanted to. And then we are going to stuff our mixing bowl with some items. So I also found some red oven mitts at Dollar Tree. They have awesome wood spoons you can put in there, some heart-shaped silicone muffin holders, and of course some of this tissue paper you can get from Dollar Tree too to kind of stuff it and make it look even sweeter and even nicer. And if you wanted to, you could put some clear cellophane around this or hand it over just as it is. Great and a perfect gift for those that love to bake. I shared this reel on Instagram and you guys loved it so much. I had to throw this in here again too. This is a candy bouquet. So I took a vase from Dollar Tree, 
painted it two or three coats with some red chalk paint so it'd stick on the glass really well. And we're gonna stuff that vase with a pool noodle. So you could use styrofoam if you wanted, but I had some red pool noodles on hand and they fit right down into this vase. So it's gonna act as our styrofoam for this bouquet. So make sure you just trim it down to size. You don't want it sticking out the top. Use a little bit of super glue around the edges and push that down into the top of your vase. Then head back into Dollar Tree, grab some awesome goodies. They even have Godiva, I know. They have some gourmet looking uh, pretzels and cookies, some really nice stuff. We're gonna use some dowel rods and just tape the dowel rods onto the back of all of our goodies and start putting them into the vase at varying heights. So I kind of worked around the cookie going in the middle at the very end, so it kind of is the centerpiece here. And then you can see they're all at different heights and you kind of adjust them until they have that fan shape. To fill it in even more, we're just gonna take some of the tissue paper you can find at Dollar Tree and just put it into little triangles and shove it down into all the spaces to fill it up. Add a little bow just tied right onto the front to finish it off and what a sweet gift, literally, pun intended. <laughs> But anybody I think would love to get a gift with all these goodies in it. And it was so easy and cheap to make, but they'll never know. I have such a sweet tooth that I would love everything in this bouquet. You'll have to let me know if you have a sweet tooth or not down in the comments below. Mine is major. I have a definite sweet tooth problem. <laughs> not gonna lie. Speaking of that, why don't we make a kissing booth? They had the cutest kissing booth signs at Dollar Tree. We're gonna use that along with this old leftover Halloween sign to make the base of the kissing booth. But usually Dollar Tree carries these long rectangular signs throughout the year for every holiday and season. So don't think you have to use a Halloween sign for this. Just one of those long rectangle ones from any time of the year works because we're gonna use the backside anyway. So I cut mine down into two rectangles and two square shapes. And like I said, using the backside, we're gonna take some chalk paint, some white, whatever color you want though, go with that. And we're gonna give this a couple coats to make it look super nice so we can make the base of this kissing booth. So here they are completely dry and we are also going to need some paint stir sticks. So this case, I have six of them, painted those white as well, grabbed some white duct tape from Dollar Tree and that is what we're gonna use to put this all together, at least the base of it. That is going to connect our edges together so that we can create that base. So each corner is going to get some of that duct tape to hold it together. All right, so this is what we were going for, basically that rectangle shaped base. And now we need to add the top, which are going to be those paint stir sticks. You use some hot glue here. You can use some super glue here. You just wanna make sure you leave a little space in the back of your top because we're gonna be adding some dowel rods in there to hold our sign up. So I did have to push these together a little bit more to make room for that. And like I said, you're gonna use some dowel rods or these are longer barbecue skewers from Dollar Tree. Those work too. And you just wanna add some height to get your sign up off of the stand. I did go ahead and paint my dowel rods red to give it a little bit of color. We're gonna flip the kissing booth sign over, use some glue, add our dowel rods onto the sides there. And then we're going to attach that down into the inside of of our base. Yeah. 
So here's a close up look of what that looks like on the inside once you've glued it to the corners. And then we need to embellish our kissing booth. I found these this pom pom garland at Dollar Tree. We're just going to shorten that, tie it off at the ends, and then use some tape and some glue to add that onto the front. Just makes it look super cute, doesn't it? And then what a fun way to display some Valentine's Day treats and candy right on the top there. I love this. It's just super fun. And and just screams Valentine's Day. It's super fun to count down the days until Christmas, but it's also fun to count down the days until Valentine's Day. I found this days until the big day sign in the picture frame section at Dollar Tree. And then also, of course, a metal little envelope that I found in the Valentine's Day section. I added some super glue on the back of that and covered up the words that were already on there. It was like meant to be perfect size. And then I cut out some vinyl that says days until Valentine's Day to attach underneath that chalkboard heart. But you can always use a Sharpie marker or a paint pen and write this in yourself if you don't want to do the vinyl. And it was just that simple. You can use that little pocket for chalk and then obviously you can very simply write in numbers and count down the days until Valentine's Day and then you have a little spot to keep your chalk handy so you can erase and change it every day. This next one is another reel that I shared over on Instagram that you guys seem to love. If you're not following me over there, check the description box. You can find me at The Daily DIYer. Lots of quick and easy reels and Dollar Tree DIYs over there too for more inspiration. So check that out. This is a set of three smaller uh, tinsel hearts uh, that I took apart and took the tinsel part off of there as well, but kept those heart shapes. And we're gonna make a topiary. So here's what those look like once you take all of that garland off of there. We're gonna cut off the little topper there. We don't need to hang this, so just some pliers. This is plastic, so it pops right off of there. And then we're also gonna do that to the bottom as well. And then use some hot glue, and we're going to glue these two hearts together, or you can use super glue, that works too. Just put some on one of the hearts and pop the other one on top, let that sit and dry, and then you kind of have a 3D shaped heart. To cover up this shape, we're going to use some green moss that you can find at Dollar Tree, just using some hot glue there to attach the moss onto both sides of this wreath form. Once you get all the moss on there, take your hands, kind of squeeze it on there so it, ke it keeps its shape. You can also use some hairspray, a fixative, to keep it from shedding so bad. We're gonna take a 12 inch dowel rod and paint that green, let that dry. That's gonna be for the top of our topiary. And then I just used a metal bucket from Dollar Tree, put some styrofoam in there, hot glue the, the dowel rod into the wreath form, and then glue the dowel rod into the styrofoam of the bucket. Then the only other thing you need to do is use some hot glue and cover up that styrofoam with more green moss and you have a beautiful and very classy looking topiary for Valentine's Day. Now back to one of these wood plaque hearts that you can get from Dollar Tree. This will work for this project too. I believe this plaque heart was from Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit bigger than the ones from Dollar Tree, but the smaller ones will work too. I'm using some brown paint here to cover this heart. And we're gonna make a cute little heart pouch and pocket. We're gonna use some fabric to make that pocket. This is some leftover canvas fabric that I had on hand, but Dollar Tree carries fabric too, so definitely check that out and see if there's a pretty print that will work for you. We're going to trace the inside of the heart shape onto the fabric and kind of cut it down to size. We want that straight across the top, not covering the entire thing. Use some hot glue to glue the edges down onto your heart and then glue some 
some jute onto the back if you want a little hanger onto the back there and then you can flip it over and fill your heart with whatever if you want to put treats in there you can i put a little bit of greenery in there i even fold the front down a little bit to give it a little bit more style and just it makes a cute decorative piece but like i said put a heart a uh, piece of candy in there a heart note in there a love note in there whatever you might want to use yours for absolutely go for it i love this idea because it is mess free quick cheap easy it's like checks off all the boxes dollar tree always has these large hearts that are made out of felt and they make for the most quick and easy table runner you just lay them end to end across your table and it just makes for a really cute table runner and centerpiece for your table. And then they're easy to just pick up and move once Valentine's Day is over. I'd also like to bring your attention to the center of the plates. Do they look familiar? They're the doily little arrow hearts that we made earlier with the pencil but this one i used straws for and it made for a really cute little centerpiece for these plates and table setting these cute little chalkboards you can also find at dollar tree and this is another really quick and easy way to do a countdown until valentine's day sign using a chalk marker here just writing literally days until valentine's day with a white one and then we're going to come in with a red a uh, chalk marker to create a heart on there. Just make sure your white is dry before you come in with the red. And then you can use a regular piece of chalk to do your countdown. That way it's easily erasable, but your chalk marker marks on there are not gonna erase quite so easily and it'll last through the holiday. Do you ever see the seasonal scarves that they have at Dollar Tree? You probably think you can probably wear it as a scarf, right? My mom does. But you can also dress up your pillows either on your couch or on your patio furniture with them. It is so easy. You just take your scarf, tie it in a knot in the center, kind of fluff out the sides, and then tie a bow right in the center as well to take pillows that you already have, if you have some neutral ones, and you can change out the scarf for every holiday and season. It seems like Dollar Tree always has them for every holiday and season, which I love, and even pretty ones for springtime and seasonal ones. So this is a very quick and easy DIY great for anybody easy enough for anybody to do now let's make some heart coasters using these wood hearts from dollar tree and also some four ply jute simple and easy as just using some hot glue and going around the outside edge of your heart and then layering it and twirling it and spinning it and gluing it down in layers as you go around the inside of your heart you want to cover your entire heart with that jute one extra little step that will help and make these a little bit nicer is adding some felts onto the back. So I just traced this heart onto some felts and then use some scissors, cut those hearts out and hot glue the felt onto the backs of the coasters. This is one of my favorite projects I've ever done. I took some tumbling tower blocks and one of them I cut about maybe a half an inch off of, not too much. A handsaw and miter box makes this super easy. You can get these super cheap at Walmart for like 10 bucks. I'll link my miter box and saw down in the description box below. And then you can paint them whatever color you want. I painted mine pink and the other one white to create a little lovey couple for Valentine's Day. And I still have these guys sitting on my little crafting shelves. I've loved it so much. Um, but you can make a little family with these and 
they I've even turned these into a little nativity scene for Christmas time. So this is a good general idea that you can then take and run with and make it work for you. I put little wood bead hearts on the tops for the heads, hot glue the sides together, and then added a little red heart in the center there, and then tied it all up with some jute. Just looks so cute. And like I said, I have had this on display ever since I made these. You probably see these in some of my videos in my craft room. Here's another quick and easy candle idea. You're gonna need felt again and also some more of that four ply jute. You'll take that jute and just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it so it's touching each other all the way around the center. You wanna leave some showing at the top and the bottom though. Just double knot it in the back, cut the ends loose and then some more red felt here. We're gonna cut that into a heart shape and then use some hot glue to glue that right onto the front. So quick and easy and makes for another item that is interchangeable. So you can remove this after Valentine's Day if you want, or you can take this idea and use it for different holidays and seasons too. I just did a big update in the She Shed. These built-ins on the side of the fireplace just got a big makeover. So you'll have to come over to my Instagram to see that. I would love to have you follow me over there if you're not already. I'll have that link down in the description box below. I love this look though, but sometimes it's been about three years now. It was time for a change. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me your favorite heart emoji down in the comments below. I'll have another Valentine's Day video popping up on your screen. You can head over and watch next. I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.